you know, he was in a remote part of China. So in the northeast Gobi. of Gobi, right? So it's a remote desert in China. Yeah. So he was, you know, basically, uh, you know, sent down there to do labor for the, during the Cultural Revolution. Yeah. He said he simply one day picked up a pen and paper and wrote a letter to a Chairman Mao yeah. and, uh, and, then Hu, uh, and then Zhou Enlai, right, which yeah. is the, the then uh, Prime Minister of China. Mm -hmm. He simply wrote a letter to them and they read the letter and they said, oh, you will be great. We will not only, you know, get you to uh, an admission space in the uh, uh, UI, uh, University of International Business and uh, Economics, UIBE, which is an, uh, a state-controlled espionage school, right, yeah. trained to, uh, train to uh, 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 educate spies. Yeah. But he also became one of the first 500 students in China yeah. to be paid by the state to go study abroad. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. All because he picked up a pen and wrote a letter. Yeah, I mean, that is absurd because imagine how many people who were sent down to the countryside to pick up the pen and paper to write to Chairman Mao, and how many of them got this privilege and opportunity to travel abroad to study in America? <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.